So I gather this is your second heart bypass operation, Mr. Peterson, but I still need to take you through the various procedures we're going to, um... Everything all right, Doc? Mr. Peterson. Yes, that's right. Mr. Peterson, member of staff at King's Grammar Denby. Well, oh, that's a while back, but yeah, yeah. Yes, Roberts. Gareth Roberts, you were my PE teacher. <laughs> Surprised you remember me. Oh, I remember you. <laughs> Roberts, that must be what? Um, 26 years. Easy to forget, isn't it? 27 in September. <laughs> right. So you're one of my lads, were you? Um, let's see, cricket team, I'll bet. Nope. Rugby squad? No, I wasn't really that into games, Mr. Peterson. I was more of an academic. Or puffter, as I believe you like to call it. <laughs> Yes, all work and no play makes... makes... Jack a dull boy. Yes, I remember that. Only in this case, all work and no play makes Jack a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons. <laughs> anyway, let's get you all prepped up, shall we? You'll be pleased to see that I'm wearing the correct uniform this afternoon, Mr. Peterson. Does that always seem to bother you so much? I assume you won't be making me run 50 laps of the hospital in my underwear. Well, we're different teaching guidelines, then. Mm. It must seem very unfashionable today, but that's the way things were. And if some of the lads were less adept at the rough and tumble, well... <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr Roberts? Technically, it's Mr. Roberts. We dropped the doctor beyond consultancy level. Well, you weren't that bad, Roberts, anyway. There was far worse than you, like. Oh, who was that fat kid? What was his name? Lardo. Oh, that's it, Lardy. Tom Lardy. <laughs> and this is your anaesthetist, John Hardy. <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll soon have you out of that operating theatre. <clears throat> Stark, bollock naked and tied to the flagpole. 